Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of metastatic renal cell carcinoma to the skin. Let's first orientate ourselves. Here we can see the epidermis, which is composed of stratified squamous epithelium, and below this is the dermis, and this whole area is the tumor deposit. Taking a closer look at the epidermis, this is composed of stratified squamous epithelium, we can see the basal layer, the stratified epithelium, and we can also see that there is a granular layer, and this is the keratinized layer or the stratum corneum. Deep to this is the dermis, which is usually composed of collagen as well as blood vessels. And the dermis is usually relatively hypocellular. As we move deeper, we can see that this whole area appears much more cellular, and this is abnormal. Here is some of the collagen and the fibroblasts from the existing dermal tissue. And there are also some blood vessels, as you can see here, here, and here. The abnormality are these nests of polygonal cells. And I'm just going to move around. You can see that there are these nests of abnormal cells. Let's just zoom into one of them. These cells have central irregular nuclei. And some of the nuclei appear to have variably prominent nucleoli. For example, over here, we can see that the nucleoli are quite prominent and also the nuclear membranes are quite irregular. What is striking about these cells is that they have abundant clear cytoplasm. As we move around, you can appreciate the morphology of these abnormal cells with abundant clear cytoplasm. Therefore, this is a tumor with clear cell morphology and the presence of the nuclear atypia with the irregular nuclear membranes and the prominent nucleoli, this suggests malignancy. Therefore, we are dealing most likely with a malignant clear cell tumor. And in this instance, the top differential diagnosis is metastatic renal cell carcinoma. Clear cell renal cell carcinoma has the propensity to metastasize to unusual sites, including the skin, Sometimes it can also metastasize to visceral sites, for example, the thyroid gland. And metastases can occur many years after the original diagnosis. You may be wondering, how do we actually know that this is metastatic renal cell carcinoma, or how do we confirm this on microscopic examination? And we can do this by applying a spectrum of antibodies, in other words, by performing immunohistochemistry. Renal cell carcinoma, clear cell type, is known to express several antigens, for example, in this instance, CA9 or carbonic anhydrase 9, and you will see very clear cut, strong, complete membrane staining, as you see here. So, this is one confirmatory test, and we usually apply a panel of immunohistochemical markers. And let me show you another example. This is CD10, which is another marker that is positive in clear cell renal cell carcinoma, and it also exhibits membrane staining. And I will show you just one other marker. This is PEX8, and this is a nuclear marker, and you can see that it is highlighting the malignant cell nuclei. However, it is negative in the nuclei of the surrounding non-lesional cells. So this particular metastatic clear cell tumor is positive for CA9, CD10, and PEX8. And this immunoprofile or immunophenotype is compatible with metastatic clear cell renal cell carcinoma. It would also be important to correlate this finding with a known history of renal cell carcinoma or with current investigations if this is the first clinical presentation. Let's look at an example of renal cell carcinoma in the kidney. 
This is a virtual pathology specimen of an example of renal cell carcinoma, and this is located in the primary site, of course, which is the kidney. And this virtual pathology specimen is taken from our free online pathology resource, PathWeb. The registration link is in the video description, and you can register for free. If you will scroll down, you will see some examples of images, and I just want to highlight the microscopic features, and here is the tumour on low magnification. And on high magnification, we can see that this tumour indeed is composed of these nests of polygonal cells with abundant clear cytoplasm. If you scroll down further, you will see videos describing the gross features as well as the virtual microscopic features of renal cell carcinoma. And furthermore, if you are interested in seeing how pathologists actually evaluate renal cell carcinoma or handle such a gross specimen in terms of staging and grading, here are some videos in the Pathology in Action section of PathWeb. And this actually details how the pathologist will evaluate such a case in terms of prognostic features. Hence, in summary, this is an example of metastatic clear cell renal cell carcinoma that has metastasized to the dermis of the skin. And we can confirm this diagnosis by looking at the relevant history or relevant current investigations and by performing immunohistochemistry. Thank you.